Welcome to this presentation of our work on carbon footprint driven deep learning model selection for medical imaging. My name is Raghav. Uh, this is work to be presented at middle 2021. So most of us in this venue would agree that uh, deep learning has enabled state-of-the-art performance across multiple domains and this predominantly is due to large data sets and bigger models. Uh, but it also comes at uh, cost. Uh, in some sense if we look at the compute of uh, machine learning in the six years between 2012 and 2018, it has grown 300,000 fold. And this of course has enabled quite a few advancements and this is also true in the middle literature. So one thing that uh, we all have, who have trained deep learning models can also agree upon is that training and um, maybe not inference in some cases, but uh, training and model selection are really resource intensive processes. Now this also gets aggravated when we look at uh, model selection in deep learning models because of the large hyperparameter space. Now once we take all of this into account, the increasing carbon footprint because of this is also of a huge concern. So the objective in this uh, short paper is basically to uh, propose incorporating carbon footprint into the optimization objective uh, when we perform model selection. Uh, this is of course in addition to other standard performance metrics that we use. Uh, so we demonstrate this using a basic experiment uh, on segmentation of lesion from the LIDC data set um, uh, using the 2D unit uh, model. Uh, we vary the complexity of this model by changing the initial number of filters, uh, which are in the unit's case uh, doubled uh, after every downsampling operation. Um, and the measures that we use are standard dice accuracy uh, for performing the model selection. As we initially put out in the objective, we also use the carbon footprint of uh, training these models. And that is measured as uh, the uh, CO2 equivalent in grams. And we make these measurements using uh, the tool uh, Carbon Tracker, uh, which we put out uh, last year. Uh, so if we look at this figure here on the horizontal axis, we have the carbon footprint of training uh, different models. And then the dice accuracy on the test set uh, based on uh, when at convergence from these models. And if we look closely, it's the most intense models are basically the ones to the right in terms of the carbon footprint, but those aren't necessarily the most accurate. So the most accurate model is actually the one with 64, uh, you know, feature maps, which in terms of the number of parameters would be the most complex. Whereas because F equal to 48, so the other model takes longer to converge, it ends up taking, uh, you know, incorporating additional carbon, uh, you know, footprint here. Um, so the, one of the interesting things to see is that the difference in performance between the simplest and the most complex model is in dice is about 1% but in terms of the carbon footprint it is a 1500 fold uh, percentage increase. So with this what we basically want to imply is that uh, more complex models don't necessarily translate into improved performance and this is because we have um, uh, you know, uh, smaller models which might take longer to converge and then, you know, more complex models which might converge, uh, you know, slightly faster. Uh, so we hope that constraining model selection using carbon footprint will also uh, enable fairer model uh, comparison because uh, sometimes when you train a model using four GPUs and then the runtime is reported as being a certain number, it might not necessarily translate into uh, you know, a fair comparison for uh, methods which are, for instance, trained on a single GPU. Um, if the work uh, in this paper interests you, and if you are also interested in making medical imaging and deep learning, uh, both the domain and the conference itself, more sustainable, uh, please do get in touch. Uh, check out our tool, Carbon Tracker, which you can use to predict and track the carbon footprint of uh, your training and inference of your deep learning models. Uh, in specific, uh, in particular, if you're also interested in making neuroimaging research more sustainable, then do check out uh, this page where we are working as a work group to make it more, uh, you know, uh, resource efficient. Uh, if anything else, um, write to me or do drop by at the poster for more discussions. See you at the conference. Enjoy the summer.